Stop! Wait, no, don't stop. Don't ever stop. Never, ever, ever stop marketing. Welcome to episode 42 of the Cheeky Sales Coach. Marketing goes on forever. We did a number of videos on sales and now we're doing a number of videos on marketing. Obviously these two are related to each other, but remember marketing is an expense. It has no direct return on investment. Sales is related directly to income. Sales must have a return on investment. And we've talked a lot about funnels. So funnels are important because a marketing funnel will be very big and it will feed into your sales funnel. And so that's very important for you to remember. The marketing funnel fills the sales funnel. If you stop marketing, your sales funnel will empty very quickly because all the dollars will come out the bottom and nothing will be coming in the top. So that leads us to our word of the day. The word of the day is consistency. Consistency generally refers to the uniform substances within something. And so when you say that something is consistent, we mean that it is kind of the same all the way through, right? You talk about the consistency of a liquid. Well, your marketing needs to be consistent as well. In other words, you can't stop and start it needs to flow and flow and flow all the time. Here are six or seven things you need to know about marketing consistency. Thing number one, marketing feeds sales. So this is fairly obvious, but too many people forget about it. Marketing funnels fill sales funnels. And it's very important that you keep this in mind. One of the reasons why some people have trouble with marketing is they're constantly stopping and starting. So if you stop filling the funnel, then you've got to start over, not with the top of the sales funnel, but with the top of the marketing funnel. One of the things you can do is stop sales from time to time, but you can never stop marketing. Remember, marketing has to be going on all the time. Now, what does marketing look like versus sales? Well, marketing is all the stuff like your blog posts, your LinkedIn activity, your social media. It could be letters from time to time, but it doesn't have to be that formal. And so all of those things need to keep going on and on and on. One of the theories that people have about hiring is to be always advertising even when you don't need new employees. Why is that? Because if you happen to stumble across a really great person, you might want to keep them in mind the next time you do have an opening. Sales and marketing is a very similar thing. You're not always selling, theoretically, but you should always be marketing. Thing number two, a gap in marketing will cause a gap in sales. So that follows from the first one. If you market, market, stop, take a month off, take two months off, you will absolutely have a gap in your sales activity. Now we can't promise you that marketing is going to lead to sales. Marketing is not intended to do that. <laughs> marketing and sales are not the same thing. But if you stop blogging, if you stop uh, posting new information, if you stop making videos, if you stop writing letters, if you stop everything that gets people in the door, the phone will stop ringing and that will cause a gap uh, in your sales as well. Marketing. Thing number three, marketing is a funnel. It's not a bucket. So when you think about a funnel, Remember, the funnel is constantly emptying, emptying, emptying. You have to keep doing the marketing because you have to keep the funnel full. If it were a bucket, you would be able to pour in some marketing and then go get some more marketing and pour it in. Well, the problem is, if you think about it in those terms, if you had a bucket, you would have 
go stop, go stop, go stop all the time as you pour something in because funnels have holes in them. Funnels drain out all the time. So all of your activity has to be constantly going. Otherwise, the funnel will be empty. And remember, when the marketing funnel empties, the sales funnel has a gap in sales. There's just no way around that. If you think of it as a bucket where you stop and start whenever you want, you will guarantee to have gaps in your system. Thing number four, keep the flow going. In other words, keep putting things into your marketing funnel, keep doing marketing all the time, and you'll keep that flow going and you won't have any gaps. So you'll always be producing something and it doesn't have to be a blog every day. It doesn't have to be a video every week, but there should always be something, whether it is a little Facebook, a little blog, a little LinkedIn, a little video, all those things mixed together, keep people thinking about you, about your company, your services and your products. So keep the flow going. How do you do that? Well, Thing number five, scheduling is the absolute gold standard of marketing in the 21st century. Scheduling allows you to say, oh, I was in energetic, so I made two blog posts. Good. One goes out now, one goes out next week or two weeks from now. Scheduling allows you to make sure that your newsletter goes out on time, that your YouTube videos go out on time. If you should have a calendar that says, in the next month, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two of these and two of those and one of those. Whatever your schedule is, it is your marketing schedule that will make everything flow. And again, it doesn't have to be every day. It doesn't have to be every week. Your flow at the consistent rate that keeps your marketing funnel full is the right flow for your business. And remember, the ultimate goal is money. So thing number six is you need a budget for marketing. When we look at marketing, one of the things we see is that it's an expense. It costs money to market. Sales may have an expense, but sales is intended to pay for itself. So you don't really have to worry that you're not spending enough on sales because you're going to get it back in revenue that comes back in the door. With marketing, you need to budget and you need to budget time and money. Now, when I look at the things that you could do for marketing, they might cost money, but they might cost no money, only time. So you have to figure out between time, energy and money, where are you budgeting what you need to do? Many people, when they start out say, well, I don't have money to market. That's cool. You can blog for free. You can put out an email newsletter for free. You can put out social media activity for free. You can be on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter for free. There's a lot of stuff you can do to promote yourself. You can hold online events for free, invite everybody on your mailing list, follow up with phone calls. None of that costs you money, but it does cost you time. In the next video, we're going to talk about creating a marketing budget that discusses both dollars and time or energy. You have to have a little bit of both. The best marketing, this is really cool, doesn't cost you anything. And why do I say that? Because the best marketing is content marketing, where you give information for free and people say, wow, that's useful. I'm going to check out more of what they have to offer and then they pay attention to you. And if you do that again and again and again, you build up a following so that on the day you ask somebody to buy something, you're going to get some activity. Remember in all of this, the word of the day is consistency. Mark it consistently and you will keep your sales funnel consistently full. Well, or at least not empty. For the Cheeky Sales Coach, this is Carl Polichuk, wishing you the best of luck in everything you do. Call to action. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you won't miss a thing.